so it is midnight we're still on the road headed back in from south florida i was able to pick up that car i was telling everybody about doesn't like much but since it's under the lights let me show you what we got here this is my original 1996 mitsubishi eclipse gst that has been sitting for five years and I got the opportunity to get it back. So it's a little rough, as you can see, there's no paint on there, but it still has the original Vogue GT7s on it. it still has the uh, front man and the cooler on it. it. Still has a lot of little goodies on it. So we're gonna try to bring it back to life sometime this year. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. DM me if you had a Mitsubishi Eclipse or no thing about thing or two about DSMs. All right, so what we got here? Yo, Jack. All right, so yes, it's a, it's an eclipse. It's a black eclipse, but no, it's not the same eclipse. This is eclipse number two. So most people be like, why do you want two problems in your life? But I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna buy one eclipse, let me get two. I don't want peace. I want problems always. This one here is. The donor car so this one here is a 96 mitsubishi eclipse gsx and the reason i bought this car was because i am going to do a gsx conversion on my 96 gst and this guy here though he doesn't know it is in for the ride of his life <laughs> so let me show you some more videos of this one so this car the reason we picked it up I'll show you real quick so it's on the trailer has what we need so it has the all-wheel drive diff has the all-wheel drive subframe has the all wheel drive drive shaft transfer case and it has the all wheel drive manual transmission. I had to buy a whole entire car just because we got a good deal on it. Now, Yo, this car great. does have some title issues to where it would never be registered or titled anyway, but it is basically the best bang for the buck as far as getting everything we need to convert the swap. So, we got a couple other cars we we'll have to finish up. Most cars finished, we're gonna get that one up and going. We've got the RX-7 to finally finish up starting up before we take on this task, but at least we have all the parts we need to complete the swap. So we'll be stripping it down, taking what we need off it, and that was called the junkyard, crushing it, not to be anything. So stay tuned for more videos. Yo, Jay.